Hello millions of fans and fans of Lords of the Realm 2 and welcome to another part of the strategy guide for Lords of the Realm 2. Now the idea behind this particular one, and it's going to be very short I believe, is a comment that we received in one of our, one of our videos for Lords of the Realm 2 by Klongo0815. Now as you can see here, he says and I quote, and I read, or whatever. Dude, there's a trick with uh, grain only. Put the nutrition to triple, then adjust the food bar to the left that it just gets over normal. And voila, you got yourself a double for maybe two-thirds of the cost. This sure does work with half to normal. Downside is you gotta have a surplus for it to work. Also, play with advanced farming. Makes life so much easier as the player versus AIs. So I went ahead and actually tried this trick and I can show you here. Okay, so here we see that um, uh, at the moment the ration, the wanted ration is normal and the achieved one is normal. And you will see that if I say double, if I choose double, they will need, uh, you can see it here, they will need 145 sacks of grain, uh, I think it's in sacks, in order to be fed double the ration. There is this way that Klongo suggested to actually um, spend less sacks for double. And the trick is, you set this to triple and it says uh, 218, but if you move the food bar to the left, to the right, and you keep moving it till it actually says normal here yeah here it is normal and then when it says normal you move it just one uh, spot to the left so that it says double you will see here that it says uh, eaten 98 so instead of 145 you're gonna have to spend only 98 so you save uh, this amount that would basically go um, unexploited or whatever you want to call it. So uh, this is a good trick and you'll see that if I end my turn um, it, they have used uh, the amount that uh, uh, they were talking about instead of the 145 and I say the amount that they're talking about because I don't really remember what the amount was and you can also see here in the rating that from ration uh, last season they got plus four because it's double and it gives plus four so it really worked so this is a trick to actually spend less grain now I'm not sure if this particular trick is worth the time to be honest with you at least not on a regular basis as in I do this every turn and in every county because I think it's just going to be um, deadly boring uh, to, to do something like that. But if you are in dire straits in a county and you really, really need the grain or you need to, ex to uh, make them happier because the love rating is way too low, perhaps you can use this and uh, save some sacks of grain at least. I guess this trick also works with uh, cows. Uh, I don't usually uh, use cows. If you haven't watched my video of grain versus uh, cows, make sure you do. It's part of this uh, list of, uh, of the strategy guide for Lords of the Realm 2. Also, uh, I would like you to, if you are a fan of Lords of the Realm 2 and you're watching this randomly on YouTube, then uh, if you have Facebook, I would highly recommend that you visit uh, the Lords of the Realm 2 group uh, that exists on Facebook. I think that there's only one group. I'm going to put a link to it in my description. Now, I want to make sure I'm not getting any money for this for promoting uh, that group. I don't think they have money in mind when they created, they had money in mind when they created the group anyway. They're just doing it because they're uh, fans of Lords of the Realm 2. I'm not uh, one of the creators. I'm just a simple member it's just that I've been posting my videos there and this is my way of uh, uh, showing my gratitude to them for helping me out in this endeavor of bringing Lords of the Realm 2 to the masses rather unsuccessfully I would say but one just has to keep trying so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and take care